It's a ghetto Kwanzaa Christmas. Twas the night before Kwanzaa, I was chilling in my crib. I was drunk as a mother, so I was drooling on a bib. Shanita stocking was hung on a shower curtain rod. She wasn't wearing no drawers, and I caught her flashing my brother Todd. All five of her babies was all tucked in their bed while their mama was with me about to give me some... <laughs> Take it now. When all of a sudden I heard a noise outside, I yelled, get down. I think it's a drive-by. <laughs> Shanita hit the floor with a terrible crash. That fat, stupid bitch knocked over my tray of hash. I crept to the window to catch a quick see, and there was Quanza Claus on my stoop going pee. <laughs> I yelled at my bitch who had knocked over my drugs. Hey, yo, peep, this ain't no thugs. It's Quanza Claus tripping and watering our stoop. I better stop this brother before he decides to poop. I turned open the dead boat and unlashed the chain. Opened the door and said, is you insane? <laughs> Claus looked at me with that big fat face. He looked kind of angry, so I reached for my mace. He said, nigga, chill and put away that junk. It's Kwanzaa Eve and I brought you the funk. With that, Claus pulled out a big hefty bag. And let me tell you, it wasn't filled up with no swag. <laughs> 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 then out of his jacket, he produced a big bong and said to me, I didn't mean you no wrong. I just finished my 40 and I just had to go. So I pulled down my fly and I let that biatch flow. You can't blame me, boy. I got a long night. And with that, I said, you know, Claus, you all right. He said, thanks, my brother, but I must be out. He turned around the corner and I heard him shout, on pimps, on hoes, on bloods and crips. Tip your 40s so your homies can have their sips. Happy Kwanzaa, y'all!